SolidWorks also gives you a few features where you can use those tools to copy your designs. So let's say you have this cylindrical object on top of a rectangular surface, right? And you want to create multiple of them in a certain way or certain manner. For that, you can always use pattern-based copies. So one of them is going to be linear patterns. Okay. So let's start with that. Select the linear pattern. Okay. The first thing is going to ask you in which direction one uh, make copies. So you want to might want to make copies along this edge axis or maybe this edge axis, or you can also have a sketch along which you want to create uh, the copy for those things, right? So I'm going to select, let's say, for the sake of simplicity, this edge here. And it's going to ask you, uh, if you go here, um, what features or faces you want to use. Okay, so I'm going to select this box here as features because these are, these are whole bodies. So we can select a body here. We're just working on this feature. And if you go into this project manager tree, click this tree here. And I'm assuming this is, this extrude tree is this feature, right? So select this from here. And now what you need to do is select the distance between them. How, what, what's the distance that you want them to be? Let's say I want to make um, six copies of it uh, within 20 millimeters of it, or maybe 30. Yeah, 25, yeah, looks good. Or maybe you want to make it only five of them. Okay. So now you have it along the x-axis. Or maybe you want to create an array of those. So you want to have a, a multiple copy on the y-axis. So you can always go to this direction number two, select that, and select this edge here, for the other axis. Okay. And it's going to ask you, OK, what is the distance that you want, let's say 25, and how many copies you want, let's say, again, five. Okay, so you see it is creating it on the other side. You can always, like similar to extrude boss and base, click on this reverse direction button to select in which side you want. Let's say, let's make it four so that it's within the bound of it. So now, if you click OK on top of it, it will create those arrays copied for you. So you don't, uh, this is, this makes your life easier, similar to uh, when you were working on sketches. If you have similar patterns, a similar type of features, you can create multiple of them using this. So I'm going to go on to another uh, pattern based uh, tool. Uh, let's say this was a linear one, right? You can go x axis, y axis based on the object surface or a sketch. What about circular ones? You can use that too. For this, Select the upside down triangle of the linear pattern and select this circular pattern. Okay. Now, the first thing you need to know is around which you want to rotate. Okay. So it's easy if you know uh, or if you have an uh, axis drawn already. If not, you can always select the uh, circular uh, surface of your object. So if you select that, it will already know where the center of. So this is going to be the axis of it, right? Now, on the other side, you want to select here is the features, like previously. So select the features, and what feature you want to copy it is this cut here, which is this. I'm going to select this. And let's say we want to have five or six different copies. It's equally, equally spaced. Once you're done, just click OK. And there you have it, a circular copy. So let's look into something else also. Let's go into the edit features for this. Okay. Let's say similar to what we did in the sketches practice, we can also skip some of the patterns we have copied. To do that, on the left property manager, select this button called instances to skip. Okay. So now you will see this pink uh, points coming up, popping up. Select the ones that you don't want to have on the system, on the copy, and it will delete them for you. So once you have done so, click OK. So the pattern will remain something like, look something like this. 
You can do the same for linear patterns too. So if you go here, go into edit, okay, and it will also have instances to skip. Go there, uh, you, you will see the pink uh, buttons there. Select the pink buttons for the features where you don't want, want the features to be. Say something similar to this and click OK. The feature will be modified. We can also do uh, custom designs also. So let me delete the previous sketches I had and start from there. Okay, so let's say, let's look into the other surface of it, uh, of this object. Let's say we created a feature, uh, which is, let's say, this hexagon. And we create it as an extrude boss and base. Uh, that's it. So now let's say you want to create this pattern again on the surface, but with a certain path. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is select the surface, create a sketch, and create that path that you want. Let's say this is the path you wanted to create. Okay. So the design you are going to copy, make multiple of it will follow along this line, okay? So select this upside down triangle, select this curve driven pattern. As you have already selected the path, it will pick it up from there, okay? Uh, let's say we're creating four equal spacing objects along the curve. Similar to before, go into the features. Now let's go into the um, tree manager and select the feature we have so far let's say let's make it five or six if we're done click ok you will see it has created those objects for you within that curve pattern okay we can also do the similar steps what we have been doing previously which is instances to skip okay so you can select which ones you want to drop just by clicking on the pink button there and click ok and that's it. You have a curve-driven pattern there.